Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and we are back for part 5 of our playthrough of Bendy and the Dark Revival. As usual, we're going to dive straight back in and continue where we left off, so sit back, relax, and let's continue our journey through the inky depths of Joey Drew Studios. Okay, so this is where we left off. We got to the city built on Broken Dreams. This seems to be a lost city deep within the depths of Joey Drew Studios. A functional city as it seems because we've got all these lights on on all the different buildings. We've also got our little companion Bendy back with us. He's joining us for our exploration through the city. So uh, yeah, Bendy, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, let's do this guys. Through the gates and onto the city. City street this way. It says thanks for riding. So I wonder if we're going to be taking a little sort of cart or something into the city or a, a train of some kind. Train information. Oh yeah, look, it's a train. Toon Garden derailed. New Flesh derailed. I don't like the sound of that one. <laughs> New Flesh. Studio East derailed. Uh, Stoneshire derailed or Little Heck on time. And then we've got Death Lake at the bottom. That sounds horrible. So it seems like maybe we can visit all of these locations in the game. But the first one we've got to go to is Little Heck. So you ready, little Bendy? Oh, look, he sat on the bench. That's so adorable. Okay, come on, let's go. Wow, look at this place. We've even got a moon in the sky. Groceries, Kingpin Lanes, a pharmacy. We've got a song playing in the background as well. Please don't litter. Okay, noted. Oh, we've got a gent toolkit. We need these to upgrade. Oh, he's just sitting there again. So cute. Look, he just follows us around as we walk about. Come, on, Bendy. This way. This way. That's it. Right, keep up. Oh, he's running on the head now. This place is vast, man. This is crazy. Look, we've got little cars here and everything. Grand Chops. Choice Meatly products. Little reference there to the Meatly. I guess we just, like, head over here, maybe? Unsafe area. Please have your identification ready. Do you have an ID? Looks like we need to find an ID card somewhere around here. Any ideas, Bendy? He's like, hmm, yeah, I got an idea. Is the one in here? Is it going to be that easy? <laughs> no, he tried his best. He tried his best, guys. Find an ID card. Now, before anyone says, I'm not going to hit him. Oh. There's nothing in here. Sorry, Bendy. He tried his best again. You know, he's trying to help here. Maybe we just search all the trash cans. Nope. Well, maybe it's somewhere else. I'm going to search all of them just, you know, just to appease Bendy. I can't even search that one. There's nothing in here. Sorry, Bendy. I feel like he's on to something here. Can I pick up this relic? This old pot? Nope. I can smash it, though. Uh, I guess we'll check this. Well, maybe it's somewhere else. We'll follow his lead. Keep him happy. It's the least we can do. Nothing in here. Let's keep looking. He's going to point to it. Oh, he's not pointing to that one. Okay. He's taking us to the grocery store. In the boot of a car? Nope. Nothing not in there. Here. All right. What about over here then? Oh, can we search this? Got some food. Oh, a note. This is from Eugene Lloyd. The future has arrived. I just didn't know it would get here so soon. Some of the stuff that's been coming out of Gent doesn't follow any of the rules of physics that I know. Hard to believe they started as a bricklaying company once upon a time. Nowadays, all we have are modern conveniences and worst yet, the headaches. Take that ID card machine they've got at the door. You don't bring your ID, you ain't getting to work. So I started putting my ID card on the nightstand in my room at the Downside Hotel. It's not the safest place, but at least I know where it is. And now so do we, so we need to go to the hotel. So where was the hotel? Oh, what the heck is that? Ah, he just got thrown out. I'll just start my own place. Oh, he can throw stuff. Screw you, man. That's what you get. You no good bum. All right, so now we can go into the Meatly Products Shop. There's got to be a Meatly Easter egg in here, right? Outside of the sign for beef. Is people. Ugh, have they been eating people in here? Please say no. Ah, oh, new area. Look. Oh, she's seen us. No, I was trying to sneak up. Screw this. There you go. 
You took us on and you failed, just like all of your other brothers and sisters. This place is enormous though, this is crazy, like a, a full blown city down here. There's the hotel that we need. The lights are on, so someone's at home. So you wanna have a quick look around before we go in? Make sure I haven't missed anything. We've got an audio log here actually. It's my first week in the job at the Gen Workshop, and I can tell already that this is gonna be interesting. Do you think you can lift this steel gutter? They asked me with a smug smile. <laughs> I didn't even bother to answer. I just picked the whole thing up with one hand. You should have seen the wee men drop their jaws. Uh, aye. Not at all. I've noticed this building just isn't built for someone my size. Every time I walk by the workshop shelves all the tools fall to the floor. That, and I gotta bend down for every doorway in the place. So, there are some positives to work in here. I mean, take that new secretary. The shy wee one with the blonde locks. The one who follows her in, Mr. Grey. I'm pretty sure she's been giving me and my muscles the eye. I ain't no smooth talker. A work-worn man such as myself ain't got no business with a woman that fine. Looks like Steve McGregor had a crush on the secretary of Mr. Grey. But he kept himself to himself. I'll take that. Alright, so we got some law. Steve McGregor, a Scottish bloke. Bendy's pointing at this door. What's in here? Oh, we can knock. You want me to knock again? I'll try again. How many times do I have to try? Hey! That sounds like the Meatly. That sounds like the Meatly's voice. <laughs> do I uh, knock again? Oh, I can't knock again. Why are you still pointing at it, Bendy? We can't do anything else with this. We've got the voice lines now. Uh, I think we have to leave them alone. The cinema. Maybe it's linked to the cinema. Maybe this is a secret. Is there something here, Bendy? Nope. He just wants to take a seat. Coming soon. Bendy's big vacation. I want to see that movie. And Bendy the Demon in Temptation is playing currently. Okay, I guess we head on inside the hotel then. It seems like we can't do much else here. We can hide in there if we need to. Right, in we go. It's kind of creepy in here. Definitely. Let's ring the bell. Service, please. Service. I don't think anyone's here. Maybe that's a good thing. Nothing there? Okay, let's keep going out of order. We can't take the lift. Maybe we can take the stairs. Oh! There you go. He gave us a clue. Can Bendy get up here okay, or...? No, maybe not. Got a key over here as well. I'll take that. Need to find some more of those safe and sound stations. Oh, there's another way up here. We have to keep going up floor by floor. Hey, a safe and sound station. This is what we wanted. Nice. And this seems to be the ID card. Well, geez. You're oh, Joey's back. Far. Don't do that. Wait. How... How did you get in here? Oh, I have my ways. So tell me. How goes the journey? Slow. But I'll get through. Ah. I see you have your father's never quit go getter spirit. Oh. It could be Henry, guys. Father. It could be Henry. Our well, theory might be flash. right. I didn't even know my father. Or my mother. Or anyone else in my family. I see then. You've chosen to forget the past. I can understand that. <sighs> what are you talking about? Look, I don't think you're ready for this. But hang on to your lunch money. There's something I want to show you. Please don't disappear Wait. right now. Oh, he's showing us a vision. Oh man, imagine if we are linked to Henry after all. That'd be so cool. No way. Is this Henry's journey? All right, Joey. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here. Oh god, this is so cool. A flashback. This is like Henry's journey through the studio. Over here. Come have a seat. This won't take long. 
So this is gonna be Audrey reliving her father's memories. Yeah, Henry's definitely her dad. This is so cool. Okay, show us Joey. Do we have to interact with that? Oh no, we take a pew over here. Where are we? A very old place. Full of memories. But never mind all that. There's a little story you need to hear. You ready? Roll that tape. Here we or go. film, I should say. Once upon a time, Audrey, there was a bitter old man who had lost just about everything. Joey. Right. The real Joey Drew. He blamed everyone but himself for his mistakes, but mostly he blamed his old business partner for abandoning their work years and years ago. A man by the name of Henry Stein, great artist and a good friend. In his anger, Joey used an evil machine to create another world. A world made of paper and ink, where he'd torment his own version of Henry forevermore. His own version? But one day, a miracle happened. An angel came into Joe's life. A young woman by the name of Allison Pender. She didn't visit often, but when she did, she saw something good in Joey no one else could, including himself. Through their friendship, he began to see the world with better eyes. So one day, in Joey's cartoon cycle of hatred, he gave Henry an angel of his own to guide him when things were most dark, to always provide hope. So he created a version it of Allison inside Joey the machine. Joey decided to make something new, something he had always wanted but he could never have, a family. But not a cartoon one. Something real. And after many, many tries, he created something that made him happier. Wait, than maybe he we're ever Joey's daughter. Imagined. A wonderful, loving daughter. Bright, oh my god. Kind. Almost human. He created you, Audrey. What? What? Are you crazy? Listen. I know it's a lot to believe. Who do you think you are? I wasn't born from some machine. I'm flesh and, and blood. I'm not some kind of ink monster. Just because we're born of darkness doesn't mean we belong to it. We're always free to choose. To believe what we want to believe. Take me back. Right now. I'm not listening to any more of your lies. Remember who you are, Audrey. Leave me alone. <sighs> He tried. That's gonna be a hard pill to swallow though. So we're not Henry's daughter, I don't think, guys. I think we are Joey's daughter, but he created us from the ink machine somehow. It's not true. It can't be. And more to the point, guys, also he uh created a version of Henry inside the ink machine to torment. Now that means that maybe the real Henry Stein is still alive, I'm not sure. I'm going to destroy this just in case we need to destroy all the cutouts, of course. As we thought maybe is the case. That's locked. Alright, I think we head back down then. That was quite the flashback. The story is getting very, very twisty and turny and I like it. But where's Bendy gone? Bendy? Oh no. There's loads. There's loads to deal with. Teleport away. Ah. Screw this. One more. Come here. The keepers are watching. Wilson's flapping his gums again. Alright, but that was pretty cool, guys. I can't get over that flashback we just witnessed. Um, you know, what a story revelation that was. We'll continue then. We've got the ID card. I guess we head back to the main strip and see if we can uh, access the gent factory now. Are there any more lost ones? Yep, there are. Of course there are. No! Oh, there's one here as well. We've got one. We need to get some snacks soon. Top up on those snacks. Oh! Good... Oh my god! Whoa! Alright, the Good Food Tower Cafe. <laughs> Let's go in here, guys. Let's see if we can get some food. Oh, we got an upgrade. 
I'll take that. What should we get this time? I know you guys can't answer me because I'm recording this as a video. But I'm going to believe that you would want me to get uh, health, stamina, ability. I'm going to go with max health. Max up that health. Because I keep getting hurt. I'll do ability next though. I don't think stamina is as important. We have full health now as well, which is good. So we can take down the other lost ones if need be. I'm going to actually see if I can... Oh, no. He's seen us. Somehow he saw us. One more should do it. There we go. He jumped at us and we just smacked him out of the air. Okay. So now we can get into this area. But I don't know where Bendy's gone. Bendy's kind of hopped it. Make your way through the gent building. Before we do this, I'm just going to have one quick sweep of the area to see if anywhere else has opened up. Right, guys, we're going to get this guy. We're going to stealth him. There we go. Take him down. Nice and easy. There wasn't anything else to get, but we did stealth that guy. So let's creep under here. And it looks like we're going inside the gent facility now. This is the factory, I think. We are the keepers. Oh, man, they're hanging up people from uh, chains here. All their victims. Whoa, Bendy's here. Hey, Bendy, how you doing? Um, we come in peace, man. Oh, what the heck is that? Is that something to dispel Bendy? Yeah, this makes him go away. He retreats. Oh, my God. Demon Bendy and Baby Bendy are one and the same. They're the same thing. An evolution in both perfect bendy form and demon bendy form. Guys, we just got two huge twists back to back in this episode. How cool is this story? Is bendy around there? No, he kind of slunk off into this puddle, I think. Oh, I can't believe this story, man. This I couldn't have predicted all of this. This is awesome. I love stories that surprise me. I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough. I'm so happy right now, like this story. Let's go inside the gent workshop, I guess. Up the steps and into the unknown. We've got an audio recording here. I don't like to ask questions. I believe everyone's got their own business. You hear something, you leave it alone. But when you spent as much time in and out of a jug as I have, you learn to keep your mouth shut about things, you know? So when I saw this year out in the newspaper that reads, Gent Corporation looking for research subjects pays 3 50 a week, I figured it'd be good for me. Easy money, right? With my record, you can't afford to be picky. But it turns out something really wrong is going on in this place. I mean, I've seen dead people before. But here, death is like a way of life. A clockwork march. They wheel out the bodies, and they disappear down the chute. Forgotten men from the street. Paid to die. 350 a week. Alright guys, so that was Archie Carter. He's talking about the Gent Corporation and how they were paying people to come off the street and into the building and essentially use them in experiments um, to turn them into inky monstrosities, it seems. But the cool thing about this recording, as you might have heard from the voice, is that I actually voiced Archie Carter. So yeah, that's my audio recording in the game, guys. We found it. It's pretty easy to find, actually, this one. And it was just a real honor to be asked to do a voice role in the game and be immortalized inside this inky world. So there we go. That's my character, Archie Carter. That's the character I voice. I kind of did a voice like this for it. Kind of like an old school, working class London bloke. And uh, yeah, I voiced this character, so that's awesome. There we go. Found our little voice recording. Let's continue. I recorded that over a year ago, so I'd completely forgotten the lines. Condemned. Effective October 31st, 1952. And we've got a body under a sheet. Actual blood on there by the look of it as well. Which is pretty morbid. Unsafe area. Please have your ID ready. Okay. This episode's got all the treats in it, hasn't it? Let's see if we can zip behind here. Nice. We can. Ooh. Looks like there's a code there. Door code 523. Tell no one. All right. Can we upgrade our gem pipe finally? We can. Look at this. 
We've got a shock pipe now. We can shock enemies. Unleash for power of a punch. Use shock pipe to launch a devastating series of heavy attacks against your foes. But be warned, it only lasts a short time. Use tab to activate when your gent pipe is charged up. Oh man, that would be awesome. So we can actually shock enemies now. I'm glad we got that upgrade, that's for sure. And the code was 523, yes, cool. So where's the door? Oh, it's here. Let's mess around with this then. Five, two, three, eight. Onward into the gent factory. Unsafe area, oh. What the hell is that? Is that one of the keepers? I don't know if I like that. I'm Audrey. What is your I don't know. My name is Audrey. I'm not here to cause you any trouble. Look, I just want to go home. Please, can you help me? Feisty. I'm not being feisty. It's posing a question. I love that audio. It sounds so creepy. They sound mechanical, don't they? Got a lot of questions, so have I. Who made you? Wilson, Wilson made, made them? them? He wanted me to find him. Oh no! What the heck? Toxic fumes? We've got to get out of here, guys. Is there somewhere we can zip to? Oh, there's a vent. Alright, guys. Crouch. Let's get out. They tried to kill us. Douchebags. Okay. What the heck? That's one of them there. It's like a mechanical slug or something. Just a pencil on a dream caused all of this. Didn't work out for Joey Drew. But Wilson created the Keepers apparently. I love their voices like they sound so creepy. Oh look we've got one over there already. So we don't want to be spotted by them. I hope we see Boris again. That would be nice you know. Have Boris return somehow. Don't know if that's possible. But still, would be a, a dream of mine, let's say. Don't think we can access another upgrade station yet. Oh, we've been spotted. Run, 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 run. Guys, I'm going to hide. Hide, hide, hide. I think we're okay. We got away. So yeah, they spot you pretty easily. And um, I don't know, but maybe if they catch us, we get like insta-killed. It's just kind of slinking around outside at the moment. Do you know what? I might see if I can kill the thing. Let's see if I can go up behind it and kill it. I'll be interested to see. No, we can't do anything to them. Or at least we can't use our special attack. 
Right, let's go through here. I will try and explore this area some more, but for now I'm going to stealth around. Because that thing seems like it would kill us, like, in one hit. Alright, it's there now. Oh. Can it see us here? I don't think so. It probably can't follow us into the vents, I'm assuming. We need to kind of sneak by it and go upstairs somehow, I think. There's a way through there. Should we try to get through there? There we go. Should be safe in here. What's this? Listen. So, it seems like this is from when Wilson took care of the Ink Demon. Or is this referring to just now because they did zap Bendy, but he seemed to walk away. So, I don't know if they captured him or not. But I think this is referring to, like, the time when the demon was captured before and uh, sort of banished, as Wilson states. We'll have to wait and see. Either way, a nice audio log from the Keepers there. Got a switch in here as well. So what are we opening up? Oh, we opened up that door. Okay, nice. No one there? Search. Nothing in there either. Okay, we've got a place to hide. Good to know. Let's head down the hall. Dishy's Cantina. Ooh. There's one right there. Slip away, slip away, slip away. Tasty Eats. Card exchange. Ooh, let's do this. There we go, we've got seven of those now, guys. I can't believe that. Seven key cards. We, we can get into loads of storage points. Look at this dead lost one here. Rest in peace, my friend. Rest in peace. If it wasn't the keepers that killed you, it was going to be me. So, probably better off having them kill you. We'll take this vent and see where it leads. I want to reunite with Bendy. I want to make sure he's safe, even though we now know that he has dual personalities and he can be both very, very evil and very, very innocent and cute. I'd rather he stay in his cute form. Maybe we can get rid of the Ink Demon and banish that side of him and just keep the, like, friendly, nice side of him. I'm not sure. Oh, there's a place up that way as well. So we're going to have to sneak here. Take it slow. There's actually a way up there as well. Can we make that? Let's try. Hey, we did. We made it. Is this a secret? I think we got somewhere we can go there. So we've got a way through there, and then we've got like a way we can go here. I'm going to try going through here for. Oh! What the heck is that? Holding cells. Is this where the people were held when they were taken by the Gent Company? Oh no. What the hell is that? That's a brute. Oh, we saw that thing in the trailer, didn't we? Is he friendly or is he going to hurt us? Hey, are you, uh, you looks friendly. Bro, look at the size of that thing. <laughs> oh, he just eats stuff. You know, that's kind of actually like, I don't want to say cute, but it's kind of got a nice quality to it. So, I'm just going to kind of get past you, my guy. Oh, we can't. We need to get to that switch. Can we teleport? Nope. So, we probably have to lead him away so we can get to the switch behind him, right? We'll go up the ladder and we'll see what we can do. That's locked. We've got a note. The keepers have taken my friend, locked him away like some animal, just because he's big and strong. But they don't need to fear him, no. If they can just make sure to feed him on time, Big Steve won't hurt a fly. So that's Big Steve, that guy. 
He knows the food from the Little Devil Lounge best, if only someone would take the long road back through the sewers, climb up through the elevator shaft, and seek out his favourite thumping delicacy. Then they would see how harmless he really is. Is the Little Devil Lounge the place in Animation Workshop? Because that is really far. Do we have to like backtrack all that way? And so they took the ink demon and pressed him into the small mini bendy that we see, the baby bendy. But in the process they inflicted such pain on him that it probably twisted him and really really made the evil aside like truly evil and hateful because he went through such pain and torment. So in doing so they created a greater monster, like almost a Frankenstein type creation. It's really sad, you can see why Bendy's so afraid of everything now. We've got an upgrade as well, nice. So I promised we'd upgrade our abilities this time. Let's do just that. Ability, level two, upgrade. Nice. Anything in here? Got some rope. Can't take that though. Do we actually have to like head all the way back to the canteen then? Because it seems like that's the objective now. Can we go through the door? That's locked. Man, we have to go all the way back to the canteen to get him a delicacy. That's nuts. Well, I guess we're trekking all the way back to the start of the game then, guys, somehow. We've got to find the sewers. Up here? Sometimes the game doesn't seem to crouch when I press C, it's weird. Cycle breakers. So we're going to break the cycle, hopefully save everyone in this place. Oh, nope. That's where the ghosts live. Just Who's this? Who's this? Oh man. Nobody ever comes out. At least, they're never quite the same. But I could open the door for you. I do know how. Yeah, that sounds good. I really do. Oh, uh, thank you. That would... But, but first, maybe play a game. Oh, I love to play games. I like hide and seek best. Find me and I'll open the door for you. I promise. Look away while I hide and no peeking. <laughs> What the heck? We gotta find her, we gotta seek her out. Seek out Heidi, so that's a lost one called Heidi. <laughs> Alright, and then she's gonna help us through this door. Maybe that leads us back to the sewers that we need. We gotta seek her out, we gotta find her somehow. She's probably hiding in this factory of course, but... I mean... Trouble with that is, this place is a bit of a death trap, isn't it? Could it be this way? Nope, that is a dead end. That is a dead end. Wait, maybe up there. Yeah. She up here? Nope, but we've got a note here. This is from Joey. Who would have ever dreamed, in the declining years of my life, I have someone more precious to me than any piece of art I could ever make. For all the evil that's come from me, this is something finally good. When she laughs and smiles, it fills my heart so much it overflows. We play and we talk as we both learn from each other. There's not much time so every moment has to count. Unlike my versions that came before her, the ones who called me their uncle, I'm proud to have her call me dad because she's truly my daughter. Oh, so when we hear the little girl at the end of Bendy Mink Machine say, tell me another one, Uncle Joey, that's literally one of his creations, an imperfect version of Audrey. It seems like he created several versions of Audrey before he found the 
perfect one, for lack of a better word. Although that sounds a little bit unethical and uh, immoral, and it probably is, but you know, that's Joey Drew, right? So that's kind of tying into the ending of Bendy and the Ink Machine. Now, we've got plenty of different ways we can go here. I don't know where we'll seek this giggling lost one out, though. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Come on, guys. Give me some props there. Is she in here? Hey, Steve. We have to get Steve food. I wonder, guys, should we go all the way back to the beginning of the game, like, now? Because that might give us, like, a secret. Like, maybe even a secret ending or something. I'm not sure. Oh, she's here. Look. We found her. Oh, you did it. You found me. Oh, this is so exciting. You were brilliant. Thanks. Now, can you open that door for me? Oh, yes. The door. I think you'll find it's open now. Oh, and also, let me give you something. Okay. Something I'll take it. Oh, a secret power. Nice. Another power is unlocked. Fast travel. Oh, this is what we want. So now we can go back and get the food. What was behind is now ahead. Interact with linker pipes to fast travel between two specific locations. Dark places you've already been to may hold new secrets. So now we can travel back and get the food. Now we saw one of those linker pipes. In fact, it's right here. Okay, so let's try it. So I'm going to go and get the food for that big guy. Whoa! Let's see. So we've emerged here. I won't try and get all the secrets back this way. I'll probably try and do that in another video, but I really want to see what's behind the door that giant Steve guy is kind of blocking. So we go through here, I think. Yep. And we've got to go up the elevator shaft. So let's see if this works. All right. Jump. There we go. That's one. And I think it's to the secret room we found, right? Oh, there we go. You have to do a kind of funny jump to get up. But we made it. Okay, so we're back out. So now we need to head back to the animation department, guys. I probably will cut away until I get there, because I'm not going to show you my trek back, but that's how you get back if you need to know. Oh look guys, there's actually a audio recording in the locker room, I just went back there. We haven't heard this one yet. Something funny's going on around here. Call me suspicious if you wanna, but I know the signs of weirdness when I see them. Don't get me wrong, we've always had visitors around the studio, but lately, we're just getting one kind of visitor in particular. Gent Corporation employees. Tons of them. They're working in the hallways, ripping up the floors, taking the best toilets. You can't even get near the Little Devil Lounge these days. It's starting to feel less like an animation studio around here, and more and more like some crazy scientist's laboratory. It's just plain weirdness. So the Gent Corporation employees started to swarm Joey Drew and take over, essentially. They were kind of like parasites working through it. I also think that sounds a little bit like Dorco. It might be. So that could actually be uh, a Dorco recording there, but I don't want to say for sure because I don't know. But I know his voice, and it seems like an Americanized Dorco, that. Okay, on to the cafeteria then. I've got a strange poster here, a busy bee. Is a happy bee, but there's something behind it. Yes, we've got a switch. I remembered the note, guys, that referenced to weird pictures around the studio. It seems to be a clue, but I don't know if we get something for hitting those switches. Well, obviously we'll get something, but I don't know how important it is. So we need to look for those pictures. It's a good thing we came back to this area. All right, here's the cafeteria, though. This is what we wanted, so we need to get him his food. So what food does he desire? I'm sure it'll... Oh, the ink demon's coming. All right, hide. Always hide when the ink demon is around. And he's gone. He goes with a kind of like belch sound. It's really weird. <laughs> All right, is this what he wants? This bowl? Nope, there's nothing in it. Maybe in the kitchen. Oh, yeah, because we can teleport into the kitchen now, right? Yeah, look. We've got a secret area, guys. This must be what he wants, a beating heart. Cannot find term, not set up. Oh, I think that's a glitch. Let's just take the heart. Here we go. 
Excellent. So we've got what we needed. So now we can head back, but I just want a quick look around here in case there's anything else here. I love games like this where you can come back and discover secrets. It's pretty awesome. I want to look for more of those posters before we leave. Oh, and we can access this as well. So let's plug that in. Nice. What's this going to give us? Ooh. A note. This is from Chef Buck. Fate is a strange thing. Just when you think you've run out of options, it puts a solution in your lap. Andre stopped by my office to say goodbye on his way out the door. As far as everyone else knows, he's gone home to Rio. But he never made it. He never even made it out the kitchen. Little Andre slumped over dead right in front of me. Barely even made a sound. And here I was worried about running out of meat for today's special. Fate is a strange thing. Just when you think you've run out of options, it puts a solution in your lap. Oh man, Chef Buck was twisted. He was serving up some human cadavers right there. I'll take his money though. We've actually got somewhere across here. I wonder if we can teleport across. Yeah, we can. A secret. An audio log. Look. Well, Sean, you finally did it. You went and told the boss exactly what's up. It's time to move on, I said to him. This toy man's ready for a new adventure. I have to admit, he took it far better than I expected. Probably because a lot of other people be ditching this month as well. But I don't pay no mind to Mr. Drew. I ain't leaving because of that old windbag. No, -ha. I've seen far worse in my day, that's for sure. I'm hitting the road because it's time for Sean Flynn to see some open sky. Find myself a little cabin upstate. Somewhere the family and I can start anew. But before I go, I've made one last toy. A little parting present for the factory lads. See how long it takes them to find it. Ooh, so he's left something behind. That's Jack Jacksepticeye's character, of course. Sean Flynn, who was the toy maker. And he's moved on away from the studio now. Yep. Wonder if something happened to him, though, before he got to leave. And another Joey book. I think the Joey books mean something. Is that everything in the room? I think so. We're getting all the secrets in this episode. It's pretty cool. There's another one here. Nice. So that's another one down. Oh, I haven't broke this wall yet. Let's have a look through here. Ah, another bendy picture. Ooh. Something happened, guys. Something unlocked. Oh, this gate. Oh, it opens. Okay. Don't know if we even went here before. And Alice. Hey, Alice. This looks like a secret area. Can I uh, break Alice? Do we need to break all the cardboard cutouts? Yep, yeah, there we go. I still think there's a secret tied to them. So let's make our way down. Here we go. In a secret area and there's a bendy cutout. Can't break that one for some reason. Oh, we get an upgrade. I just noticed. I was too fixated on the bendy. We actually get an upgrade as well. Nice. Okay, so... What do we want to upgrade, guys? Maybe put it into stamina? I'll go health, actually. I want to upgrade our health fully. There we go. Don't know if that was a smart choice, but we did it anyway. Right, is there anything else in here? I don't think so. There's a door here, but we can't go through that. So I'll break the wall here, I guess, and go through. Oh, another wall. Another wall to be broken. Quiet, please. I'm gonna knock on the door. Let's cause a ruckus, guys. Maybe it'll open. No, that does nothing. Right, well, we've got some good secrets, I think. We came back here and got quite a lot. So I'm gonna head back now, guys, through the linker tubes. And we're gonna meet Steve again and see if we can give him the heart. In we go. Hey, Steve. Okay, I got a heart for you. Nice and fresh from the twisted cannibal chef. Please don't get a taste for human flesh and eat me, though. Hey, he took it, and he's gone. He's content. So now we can finally get inside this door. He's just going to sit in the corner, enjoy his heart. You enjoy that, my friend. Eating it just like an apple, aren't you? Very strange. Let's open this. What's our reward going to be? The grand prize is... 
A safe and sound locker? Is that it? Oh, final gent schematic. Nice. Okay. That is definitely worth it. And lots and lots of treats as well. All right, guys. Well, I think with that said, we are done. We can move on now. See what happens in the story next. So we need to head out this way. And I think we need to head on along here. So I'm just going to wait for that weird keeper thing to go. And then I'm going to jump and teleport. Made it. Hurt ourselves a little bit. Hurt our legs, but never mind. Here we go. Cycle breakers. We're going to find out who the cycle breakers are. Deep sick. Oh. Oh no. This isn't good. Decontamination. I suppose Audrey could do with a wash after all the ink she's been through. Someone uh, let us out. Or we were just decontaminated, I don't know. <laughs> Something happened. Oh, look, it's Norman Polk's head on display in this case. Rest in peace, Norman Polk. F in the chat for Norman. Subject 418. Who's that? We've got a switch over here. Oh, is it Sammy? Yeah, this is Sammy Lawrence, look. We've got his mask down there, and his little chair, and his little ukulele. Sammy! Turn around, you dope. He's just chilling on the chair. All right, well, I guess just play your song, play your merry tune, and whistle a happy song, or whatever the uh, rhyme was. He's subject 418. I'm going to eat some food before we continue. There we go. We've got a vent here, which I'll go through in a second. First, I want to check out if, like, Norman's in here as well. Look, there's a subject over here. Subject 414. Oh! Um, Wait, is this Henry? Excuse me. This looks like Henry, guys. Sir? Can you... Help me? Not that we've seen him before, but you must be <laughs> Yeah, it's Henry lost to be asking me for help. I'm just looking for answers. About the keepers, Wilson, the cycle, anything could help. What's your name? Audrey. What's yours? He looks like a broken man. Honestly. I've almost forgotten. It's Henry, man. It's Henry. Henry. Yay! Have you been a prisoner long? When the Keepers think you're a threat to their plans, they lock you away. Forever. Still, it's given me time to think. Things like, if you haven't eaten in years, you might not be human. Why would you be a threat to them? I'm what they call a cycle breaker. Once upon a time, I knew how to start the cycle over. And when that happens, everything begins again. Completely new. Obviously, Wilson and the Keepers don't want that to happen. How did you do it? Reset the cycle. Turns out the Ink Demon himself is the key. This world is his. But even he must obey its rules. For now, at least. If you can get him to look at something very specific, he will reset everything. We need to show him the end. Is it? It's just a reel of film, labeled with the words, the end. I can see it in my mind every day. They keep it upstairs in the pit. I'll see if I can break in and steal it. Maybe if I reset the cycle, we could make things better for everyone here. And what about you? I just want to go home. So did I. Good luck, Audrey. If you need me again, you know where to find me. Oh, he's locked away. So, Joey said a version of Henry, but... Oh! What was that? Don't know what that noise was. Yeah, Joey said it was a version of Henry, but like... It seems like it is the real Henry trapped in here. Maybe we can free him finally, get him out of here, you know? But, yeah, he did obviously banish the Ink Demon by showing it the real film titled The End. Now it's Audrey's task to do the same. So we've got our mission. I guess... 
we just keep going then. Um, I'm going to check for vent over here that we broke. Because I want to know what's down here, you know. Oh, there's a bendy cutout. We should hit that. Make sure they're all destroyed. Oh, Bertram Piedmont. Easter egg. That is hideous. Rest in peace, Bertram. You are one ugly sucker. No offense. His face is all clawed up, man. That's pretty graphic. Wait, his eye actually follows us. Man, that's horrible. He's still alive. Hit your big old nose. Your big old schnoz. Sorry, man. Just had to do it. That's probably the most action you've had down here for like, I don't know, 20 years at least. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, I'm going to be seeing you around then. We're going to head on. We've got a mission to fulfill. A prophecy to carry out. So we'll head up here. What the heck was that? Oh, we just avoided the jump scare. The Carly jump scare, I think. Oh, we got contraband. <gasps> the seeing eye tool. Guys, I want that. I want that seeing eye tool. We've got Sammy's record. We've got the axe. The legendary axe. Stained in ink. I really want this. There must be a way to open it up, right? I bet we can get this and then you like use it around the studio to like find secret messages and stuff. They'd be missing a trick if that's not in here. Hiding spot there. I guess we uh, pull this lever, see what happens. There we go. Done. The pit. Oh man, we gotta go into the pit. First I wanna look at subject 928. Use this. Are you worthy to walk with angels? Is this Alice's room? It's got to be, right? But she's not in there. Looks like Alice escaped somehow. She uh, carried out a jailbreak. Deep six level badge required beyond this point. Okay, so we're going to go into the pit now. I might end the episode pretty soon, guys. Because um, it feels like a good time to uh, sort of stop playing and finish up the episode. But before we do... I'm just going to check this. I'm just going to go through to the next area and sort of see what happens. See if we hit chapter 5, you know. So we're in the pit. Lots of cogs and mechanisms in here. There's always hope. Just a pencil and a dream. Ooh, what's this? Another memory. Fresh milk. I think we get a secret ending, perhaps, if we get all the memories, because earlier Joey said something about, like, her memories. And I think if we unlock all the memories, maybe we get something for it. Maybe not an ending, but, like, something special, right? A carton of milk for growing up strong and healthy. Add some chocolate for a snack enjoyed by both young and old. I love how, like, lyrical these are. It seems like maybe there's, like, one, two, three, four, five... Maybe there's, like, six of these memories? So we might be missing one? There could be seven, but I think there's maybe six memories. All right, let's enter. Oh. Set up an alarm. Oh, no. They're coming. We've got to go. We've got to go. Quick. What the heck? Oh, man. What is that thing? Oh, it's just one of the uh, weird keepers. What's it doing? Searching for us? Yep. What the heck? Were we meant to do something then? Did we die or was that just meant to happen? I think that was meant to happen. Yeah, Wilson's talking to us now. A savior comes at last. Wilson? Rest yourself, Audrey. You're still weak. The Keepers can be relentless to strangers. But there's nothing to fear as long as I'm with you. You're safe now. You did this to me. You brought me here. Turned me into this, this thing. This doesn't make sense. I've never done anything to you. Open your eyes and look around you. None of this makes sense. Drawn walls, nightmarish creatures, an ancient studio that died out almost 30 years ago. It's all fiction. 
utter nonsense. And yet, in here, it exists. It breathes. It What's in the briefcase? We need to know. Reality, guided by its master's pin. The foundation for a new reality. We can bleed into our own. Just think of it. Anything we create in here, we can release out there. But first, this world must be controlled. Oh, he created a little bendy. Made safe. These things. Hey, bendy. These angels and demons. Are they really like? No, don't hurt him. Or you freak. You creepy old man. Stay. All right, this guy's going down. This guy oh, is going this down, place. guys. Ready to be cleansed. We are taking care of Wilson before this game is over. Greater things. What do you want from me? I need your help. I'm not giving it you now. Save my father's life. What? Well, maybe he's got mm. noble reasons for doing this, then. This is our star. Maybe he's not as bad as we'll we think. Talk more once we're safely inside. Like, if he's doing this for a family member, you can kind of somewhat understand it. Chapter 5, The Dark Revival. Alright, guys, I'm actually going to end the episode here. And then, like, in the next episode, we're going to stand up and see what happens next. So, yeah, this is episode has been absolutely crazy. We had so much happen. We found out about Audrey's connection to Joey. She seems to be some kind of daughter to him, like, that he created. Henry Stein still lives down here as well. He is trapped in a prison inside the Gent Corporation. We got my audio log, which was really nice as well. And we found out that Bendy actually has two forms, the good and the evil are one and the same because of the twisted experiments that Wilson had the Keepers perform on him. So yeah, a really action-packed episode, probably the best yet. But with that said, hopefully you've been enjoying this playthrough. I've been absolutely loving this game. It's way way past my expectations at this point and i can't wait to continue it in the next episode so with that said if you have enjoyed this video remember to leave a like comments down below and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one and i will see you all on the next one